shots. Uh, there were a few times we didn't even get a hand up on Aaron Gordon, Jeff Green. Those guys were, you know, they're good players, but you don't expect those guys to shoot that way, but you got to get a hand up. And I, I thought that they were just more physical, uh, play with more force, especially in the second quarter. Uh, that's where we kind of lost some momentum. And uh, the difference in possessions, turnovers and offensive rebounds just destroyed us tonight. And so we, we got to uh, regroup and do a much better job of playing with pace on offense. I thought we slowed down um, tonight for whatever reason. Their pressure or uh, taking the ball out of the net, we didn't play with the pace that we are accustomed to, especially in the second quarter when they switched the tone on us. Yeah, just kept turning it over. Every time we had a chance to <clears throat> get it under 10, um, I don't know how many turnovers we had in the middle of the floor, but that, that spot was like an ambush spot for them. They just kept coming towards the ball, but we couldn't get over the hump. Um, every time we had a chance to get under 10 or get to 10, we turned it back over. Yeah, just trying to put a, a stronger, more guard-like body on on Murray. And, and let's be honest, some of the shots he hit, I don't think anybody could have stopped him tonight. Uh, but we got to do something um, a little bit different in our schemes to keep him from getting the ball or get the ball out of his hands. And you know that's something that we'll look at. Coach, when they went small, you guys countered with the center lineup. Yeah. What did you see from the way? We've played slow. Um, Da came in and gave us a little bit of um, production in the paint, but I, I thought we could have drove it more versus um, the smaller guy that was on our big. You know, if we can just get back past the bigger guy that was on the ball, we could have generated more offense. But I thought it slowed us down for whatever reason. I thought in the second half we did a much better job. And with Murray, I know you said that some of the shots he's hitting was not a play that can stop yeah. There were times where we, in the first quarter, I just felt like we didn't expect him to get the ball. He backdoored us one time. Like that, that should never happen against our defense when we play Denver. We know they want to cut to the basket. Um, we guarded him too high a couple times, and it created a ton of space. And then you, you know, complement that with how he shot the ball tonight. Um, it wasn't a good combination. Lonnie, with Kevin, the shot making was certainly there. He had seven turnovers yeah. as well. How do you assess it? It's just overall? not something that you're going to see from Kevin. Um, you know, we, we had a number of turnovers tonight for 18 points. And then you, again, complement that with the offensive rebounding. It just wasn't a good night for us. So we, we dug ourselves a hole. I thought we came out in the third quarter and played with our kind of force, but we were in such a hole, um, just couldn't overcome it. We'll see. We're going to be better next game. Coach uh, talked about playing slow. And the paint obviously plays faster. Yeah, to get it's all on the table. Yeah, he may find himself in the rotation uh, just to create some more pace and so Book doesn't have to handle the ball all the time. So we're going to look at that. Body 20 assists on 43 field goals, extremely unlike you guys. Is that again just. Ball just got sticky. You know, we probably shot more shots off the dribble tonight. Uh, we didn't move it the way that we're, we're typical or accustomed to moving it. And I, I thought we could do a much better job of trusting the pocket. Uh, when they put two guys on the ball, it should allow for us to get a lot of shots on the backside. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a concern. We didn't generate enough, and they, they generated way too much. And so we have to look at our offense and, and make sure that we are, again, trusting the pocket pass. DA is capable and he's done it a number of times where he can score or find guys on the backside. Coach, you've always talked about when you get to that next game, how important will tomorrow be for you? Uh, we got to go step by step, process this tonight and look at the film, uh, come back in tomorrow with the players. And um, you know, our guys have, this group has been here already, so we understand what it takes to emotionally settle down, understand it's a big game coming up, but our guys have played in a number of big games. Just more physical than we were. And I thought there were 
times where we had a guy boxing out and pushing us under the basket, but we had three guys standing outside the paint watching, you know, where we could have helped that guy boxing out. Uh, there were there was a few times where Gordon was on a smaller guy or a Green was on a smaller guy, and we just didn't go down and help those guys enough. Thanks, Joe. Thank, right. you, Thank you. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. Uh, percent. You know, I would say, you know, I got to, you know, run the game back and, and watch it and digest it. But, you know, the early things that you look at are that exactly, getting 17 more shots in us, um, turning the ball over, getting them 18 points that way, um, second chance points also, offensive rebounds. So those are the main things I can – you know, see see off the bat, but you know we need some time to digest it and see what really went on. The physicality part of the game is something that you guys usually embrace and respond to. You see that tonight. Because Coach City thought that you guys weren't as physical. Yeah, I think we were good in spurts. Um, early on, it was tough. We got physical, and there were a lot of fouls called. So you know, just trying to stay away from that. Um, but yeah, that's. That's that. We understand it's going to be physical. Um, they're a physical team. They're going to be on the offensive board. It's going to be a lot going on in the paint, and um, we just need to take care of that. Um, turnovers, that's one. Um, and then just you know, creating for each other and, you know, getting getting by that first line of defense, putting them in rotation and, you know, just having a quick trigger, you know, with the shots there, just take it. How much of the problems today just feel correctable in terms of the areas that you talked about? I mean, I always believe in us. You know, we, we've been a good team all year of, you know, digesting the game, seeing what went on and, you know, learning from it and, and making those corrections. Um, but. You know, we know they're going to come with the next game too. So just being prepared for them to, you know, come out and play like they did tonight. Offensively, 20 assists and like you guys, did you see? How'd you like the ball move with the process overall? It could be better, and I think we can be better in every category. Um, and I think the team understands that. We'll get together tomorrow, get on the court, talk over some things, and you know, learn from it. Just hearing what you just said about, you know, take the shot when it's there. Is it too much over? Uh, yeah, probably just, you know, second guessing our reads, um, you know, just not playing the type of basketball that we play. You know, we have to get more up, more threes, but more shots in general. Um, you know, like I said, they shot the ball. We shot 51% from the field. We just didn't get enough of them. <clears throat> I don't feel that. Thanks, Bob. Yep. Thanks, Bob. Uh, you look at the stat sheet, they got 100 shots up, we got 84. They got 37 threes up, we got 23. They made 16, they made seven. There's a make or miss lead. We've talked about a lot of different things involving our game, like defense and getting back on defense and making an extra pass. But if you just make more shots than your opponent, then you got a good chance to win a basketball game. And that's what they do. No, it was just more so me. I just I slipped a couple times, uh, threw a couple bad passes. So I mean, I only had one assist, seven turnovers. We're not gonna win basketball games like that. I got to be extremely, uh, way way more careful with the ball. I got to either look to shoot the ball, or make a correct pass. So I, I, I mean, they got 17 more shots up. I got I damn I damn near got half our turnovers. So yeah, I put that on me, just keeping the ball in my hands, not trying to make the home run play. I think if we get stops and get out and run, I think we can get threes up. Um, you know, if we just, we just, sometimes we might pass up some looks too, and, and 
and try to kick, drive a little bit more. Sometimes you got to shoot those. Uh, but uh, I will be fine, I think. You know, just got to play with confidence, shoot the ball with confidence, and see what happens next game. I think I just think Jokic got like five of them in one possession. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, they had 16 of them, but he had eight of them. And I think all of that was like in the second quarter, or maybe the first quarter. And then they got some here and there. But I, I, I think Jokic was the, just making the numbers look better. Um, you know, he did he does a good job of tipping that ball, keeping that ball alive. You know, so uh, we we just got to hit hit these guys, and they thrive off of. You know, playing fast pace and, and getting up more shots than their opponents, so we gotta be better. Kevin, it's not like you guys have 20 assists on 43 baskets. How'd you feel like the ball movement process worked? <clears throat> like I said, I had one assist and seven turnovers. I think that it starts, I mean, Book and CP both had 13 combined. So I think I gotta be better in that department if we wanna win. The Nuggets? Surprise? Am, am I surprised about the Nuggets? I don't know. They're number one seed for a reason. They got a two-time MVP. They got a deep team. Yeah, no, I'm not surprised. They can go off and win games. So uh, <clears throat> we got our work cut out for us. We're looking forward to game two, though. What can you guys do to try to keep Rory from It's tough to stop great players. Uh, but be more physical and uh, just be there on the catch, be there on the shot. I think he made some tough ones over us as well. but. Yeah, we just, from the from the tip, we just got to be physical and get into bodies and make everything tougher. Kevin, you've been a part of like every scenario in the playoffs. When you get beat like this in a game one on the road, what's the mindset going into game two? Uh, just go look at film, see where we made mistakes at, and try to correct them. It's just like any other game, to be honest. It's not that that not that deep. I think you know uh, on a roll, you want to try to get you one here in the first two games, but. Uh, we look at film tomorrow and see, and see what we could do better and see you know, how we can give ourselves a better chance to win. But just from looking at the stat sheet, like, I can't turn the ball over seven times. They can't get 17 more shots than us. Okay, and you guys pulled the bit 10 a few times in the quarter and just make it that stop. Any certain reason you guys kept having them? To be honest, I think they hit some tough ones over us in that little stretch when we were down 10, 11 points. So I think Murray hit some fadeaways. Jokic hit a tough three over DA. Um, Bruce Brown, I think, hit a pull-up jump shot over top of the hand. So, like, you got to give them credit. They, they, they good shot makers. Michael Porter, good shot maker. Aaron Gordon knocking down threes, you know. So, uh, you got to give them credit for, for staying, staying confident in their shot and just being aggressive. Yeah, you know, I talked about the physical part, even though you were good on that. How important is that game? Yeah, rebounding is a big part of winning games. That's how you win championships is defend and rebound the basketball. So. Um, we all got to be better in that area. I think I can uh, even I can do even more. To be honest. Thanks, Ed. Thanks, Ed. Thank you, sir.